If you want to see me swatch the Shake Your Pom Poms and the Gingerbread Spice Palette, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilan, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I have a couple of little gems from Too Faced to Swatch with you. Uh, one of them is called the Shake Your Pom Poms palette and it has some nice softer colors of pinks and greens. And then we have the Gingerbread Spice mini palette as well. And this is a little bit of a consolation prize. I have not picked up any of the gingerbread palette. I did pick up the pumpkin spice palette. If you want to see the swatches for that palette, I will put that video right there with all the swatches and commentary. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, adding that one along with the pumpkin spice, I think is a nice compliment. And then shake your pom poms, I think is more of a springy kind of a uh, color palette. But let's get into it. So I think, which one am I gonna start with? feel like starting with the gingerbread spice. So let's do that. There are, I believe, such a cute little bit of packaging. They are, they've been weighted uh, for sure. They're, they're a little bit heavy. It does have a little mirror and it has eight shadows with that interesting uh, rectangular set of pans along with some of the more uh, regular square pans. And I think I'm going to use all four fingers and um, swatch at basically two sets of swatches. So let's go with the uh, the top row and then the bottom row in this case. So we have a very, very light color, which looks like a brow bone highlight. We have a, oh gosh, it's kind of antique goldy with goldy orange, I guess. And then a, what looks like a matte, oh, this doesn't pick up all that well, kind of a, um, rough matte which is not unusual for like a, a fuchsia or a purple and then we have more of a coppery color at the end i don't know if it would call it copper but anyway let's get that first set of swatches done so here we go that's this is the really really light color brow bone or inner lid inner corner and then we have that really nice fiery gold that's interesting and then the next one is that gritty fuchsia type color. And that. that one doesn't swatch very well in the first go, does it? And then we've got that fiery orangey brown. Oh no, 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 I, I stand corrected. Not at all. It's almost like a ruby red. That's why swatches are so important. So those are the first four. Let me re-swatch them. Fingers are always helpful. And um, showing you the fingers is what I mean, because the fingers, I think, show more what it would look like on the eye than the flat swatches. That's just me. Let me know what you think. I think that this match, oh, not quite. I thought it was gonna match my lipstick, but it doesn't. Okay, so here are those four colors again. All right, here we go. I don't mind this one. It's very sparkly, but I think it would look pretty good in a number of ways. That one is very wild of a color. I like, I like this kind of a color, so I have no issue there. And then, yeah, it's, um, it makes me think of a red in the uh, Queen of Hearts from Colored Rain, I would say, kind of. Anyway, those are very, very nice. And do you see the um, the pink, the hot pink that shows up in that color? Interesting. Do I want to redo anything? I, I want to accentuate this one a little bit more because it's the pinky and it's not quite picking up as much as I would like. And it's like orange and, and um, pinky red all at once. So very, I don't know, it's, it's an interesting color. Okay, so that is the first row. And I am going to wipe off my fingers and let's get into the second row. Okay, so the second row I think is more a little bit more muted than the top row and a lot of mattes in that second row. I think they're all mattes as far as I can see. So a very uh, light pink 
and then a standard light brown, standard kind of spicy orange color, and then a very nice matte purple. I think those are all very, very nice. They do look like a mini of the Gingerbread Spice palette. Okay, this one is a very easygoing color and another easygoing color. What does this one look like? Eh, not my not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. All right, let's see what the pinky does. Yeah, mats never seem to swatch well on the first go. So let's do these all again without talking about them all that much. There's nothing, there's nothing to say at this point. Okay, so let's try these a second time. Hopefully they build up nicely. Okay, that's not too bad. It's very light, so it's hard to see on my skin tone. Okay, that one built up nicely. Let's see what the orange, fiery orange one looks like. Yeah, it's okay. Mats sometimes just don't swatch all that well. Now, because this is the pinky, I think I'm going to do it. Just You know what, the last two I'll do one more time because they just don't seem to pick up as well as the other ones. I didn't go crazy in picking extra up, but just a little bit more. Okay, that is better. All right, so that is the first and second row, so the whole of the gingerbread palette. Ginger, yeah, gingerbread spice palette. Good, okay. So that is the one of the two. Now we have Shake Your Pom Poms coming up next. And that one is more, in my estimation, more like a spring color. So I would like to start using it sooner than later. So let's just take a look at that one. Now that my fingers are clean. All right, so I'm opening up the box. And again, it has that weighted feel. This is what it looks like on the outside. Not crazy about the name, but I do really, really like the color story of this palette. I think this is a definite, for me anyway, it's a definite grab and go palette. So again, we'll do the same thing, top and then bottom. And it does look like it has some duplication is maybe a, a strong word, but it does seem to have a number of colors that are uh, reminiscent of what is in the pumpkin spice palette. Uh, so yeah, just a, just a note there. All right, so let's just get these out of the way. And there is no um, single matte row in this palette, unlike the Gingerbread Spice palette. So here is the first set of four. So let's see what these look like. And second color. Third. Looks like a Napo uh, Na Napoleon or what's it called? I think it's Napoleon, that ice cream that's vanilla, um, strawberry, and, uh, and chocolate. Do you remember the name of that? Somebody can correct me in the comments. Okay, let me go in again. I think these are going to build up pretty nicely. And that kind of a brown color. Looks good on the pinky, bronzy color, I guess. All right, here we go. That one is starting to show up. This pink is a very easygoing pink. It's a standard kind of maroon. And this one really did not need it. And it's amazing because that's with the pinky. So that's the first half of the palette, those last four. This is impressive. Look at that color. And I, I, I have a little soft spot for this one. It's, um, I think it would look really good on the, uh, on the brow bone, believe it or not. I think so. I think that's a really nice brow bone color. Okay, so we've got the first four, now for the second and final row. And this second row I'm pretty partial to based on this color right here. But I think that this is a very, very nice set of four colors and complements quite nicely the top row. So let's do that. So we've got a nice, a very nice buttery matte on the bottom row. 
this next one. Oh, please, please, please be as nice as I think it is. Okay, and then a matte, deeper chocolate brown on the end. I really like this combo. Really, really like this combo. All right, let's see if I can fit them all in here. So that's a pretty standard matte. And this one. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay, third color. Another nice color, but it does not hold a candle to the previous one. <laughs> and then we've got the last one, which is a nice, oh, it's a nice chocolate brown, but because it's a matte and it's in a weird spot, I'm going to have to re-swatch it. Sorry about that. I did not do a great job on that swatch. The elbow is in the way, so let's just do a second pass and a final pass. It's the last four shadows. Okay, let's see if I can do some damage control here. So we have this one. And then this one, that is so beautiful. That kind of beigey bronze color. And let's see if I can fix that chocolate brown. Okay, better, it's no cigar, but it's better. Let me just elongate the tail of that swatch a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think that that, I think that works. Okay, so let's um, make sure I can wipe my fingers and we will talk about this set of swatches. So we've got two palettes, right, on the arm. We've got eight colors from the gingerbread uh, spice palette that ended up with that purple. So from here, to the purple inclusive, that is the gingerbread spice palette. And then we have the shake your pom poms palette. Oh, right after, right here. Okay, so the, um, the shake your pom poms palette is definitely more on the neutral side compared to the uh, gingerbread spice palette. This does really look to me like a smaller version of a previous gingerbread palette that Too Faced has released. So that's interesting. Um, I think that these are definite pops and these are the supporting uh, characters. That's okay. Um, and I think that if anyone had FOMO on having missed the gingerbread palettes, that would still give um, some of the vibes of those previous palettes. So I, I and I think that that is what uh, role it's going to play in my collection is just kind of like, the uh, making up for not having those bigger gingerbread uh, palettes, but I'm not I'm not unhappy because I do have the pumpkin spice, which to me is a fantastic version of a spice palette for um, for the Too Faced collection. And I have to say, having seen these eight colors, I am very excited about this palette. You can get a very neutral, easygoing look, and then you can have some very punchy colors I and mean, that green is just so nice and then a lot of impact with this color as well if we want and then we have a more subdued kind of a, a, a beigey bronze not bronze a beigey shimmery color with with a little bit of a tendency towards the brown it's it's that this is a nice set of two palettes i have to say I, I, and I like the shaker pom-poms more than I thought I would because these guys are really impactful and this mat along with this mat and most of all this guy at the end really help bring those shimmers out um, and, and show them off a little bit, I, I think. And I think that the, uh, the mats in the uh, gingerbread spice can really bring out these as well. So I think that curation wise, I think that Too Faced did a good job on those two mini palettes. And I did keep the swatches from the pumpkin spice uh, palette swatching video. And I just wanna superimpose the two and just take a look at those two mini palettes, uh, Shake Your Pom Poms and Gingerbread Spice. 
compared to the pumpkin spice palette. So let's just superimpose them really quick. And I, I did want to, ma uh, to match up these greens. So this uh, green on the bottom is from the pumpkin spice palette and it, they are very, very similar. So if you were attracted to the green in the pumpkin spice and that's why you want it, you may be uh, happy with the Shake Your Pom Poms palette to uh, kind of meet that desire for that green color in the pumpkin spice. So if, if you're not so much into this part of the color palette for the pumpkin spice, yeah, maybe the eight pan Shaker Pom Poms might be a good idea. Um, if I look at those two mini palettes compared to the pumpkin spice, if I had to pick only one of the two, I really think that I would have picked the Pumpkin Spice palette. And a big factor in it is these three, which is terrible in my palm, but these three deep mattes, I think, make the palette very versatile. And these shimmers are absolutely beautiful. And there's a, there's a fair complement of mattes as well. So if I'm, if I'm looking at the two and I'm, I'm being uh, real with myself and I could had, I had to pick one of the forearms, I think it would be the bottom one. Now, from a versatility perspective, as far as pairing palettes together, I do think that two mini palettes like this is really, really, is it upside down? Sorry about that. Two mini palettes is really nice for a total of 16 shades in a much smaller package than a, uh, a large palette, right? So, I mean, it, they may be a little bit thicker, but a lot easier to put a couple of small palettes in your purse compared to, uh, to a big one. So that also has merit. So they're almost a tie, if you will, because they are very pretty um, for some different reasons, but again, if I were to only pick uh, one, it would be it would be these colors. And there is a slight difference in the number of shadows, of course. Each one of these is eight shadows, so a total of 16. And this palette has 18 shadows total, like the Celestial Divinity from uh, Pat McGrath. I, I like all three, I'll say. And I, and I was on the fence with this one, but I did like the color story. And I will say that this palette it really does address my uh, my FOMO of having <laughs> missed the couple of other full-size gingerbread spice palettes or gingerbread palettes, period. Yeah, I'm really happy with them. Let me know what you thought of the swatches, if you have some uh, suggested combinations for the colors that you saw on either forearm or a mix of both, whatever you like. I am all ears because I will be doing some looks with these three palettes. Let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.